Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to breathe in a way that's pleasant. Feels energizing if you're tired, or feels relaxing if you're tense. As for any pains in the body, just don't pay attention to them. Pay attention to the pleasure. But don't let go of the breath. If you're sitting here, forget about the breath. Just go with the pleasure, then you begin to drift away. You're learning how to be with pain but not get overcome by pain, and be with pleasure and not get overcome by pleasure. That's an important skill, because that's where our buttons are around pleasure and pain. If we don't learn how to disconnect those buttons, people can push them and get us to do and say and think all kinds of crazy things, get us to go off on the wrong course. The Buddha said there are four ways you go on a wrong course. One is out of desire, one is out of aversion. Another is out of delusion, and the other is out of fear. And these things all come, around, come out of our fears and desires and aversion and delusion around pleasure and pain. So if you learn how to cut things off at the root, people can't push you around. They can't get you to do stupid things. You can't get yourself to do stupid things, too. Sometimes nobody tells you what to do. But you do still do things that are, go against your best interest. That's because you're still overwhelmed by pleasure, overwhelmed by pain. You can't get above them. So this is what we're trying to do as we practice, is to get above pleasure, above pain. Learn how to use pain, use pleasure. So that way we're not controlled by our defilements. We're not controlled by other people's defilements either. That's when the mind is really free. So have the right attitude toward pain. It can be there. It's part of having a body. But the body is not totally in pain. If we're totally in pain, you die. There must be some places you're going to be pleasant, then you make it pleasant with the breath, and then hold on to the breath. Keep mindful and alert to the breath. And then you can use the pleasure. You can spread it around the body. Have a sense of well-being that fills the body. And yet you're alert and above it. That's how you disconnect all your buttons. And when people can't push you around, then you're really free. When you can't push yourself around that way, your defilements can't push you around, that's when you're totally free. <laughs>